black women of Dallas County pay tribute today for the seventh consecutive time to the late President John F. Kennedy on the anniversary of his birthday. He has not arrived, so we will continue with our program, and if he should arrive, we'll call on him. But at this time, may I present to you Representative Dick Reed. At this time, the only operational project uh, utilizing performance contracting is in Texarkana, Arkansas. And it appears from the first results, and it has only been in operation this year to this school year, it appears from the early results achieved by the contractor that, that the students have learned a great deal more than uh, by more traditional teaching uh, methods and method, uh, procedures, and that uh, the Texarkana School plan to expand our turnkey the program into additional schools next year. For the past uh, year or two, uh, we've been considering the uh, possibility of making a, uh, a move that would decrease the number of games that are played uh, professional uh, played in Dallas. Professional basketball by the uh, uh, high cost of operation necessitates playing a large number of games. So this is this has constituted a problem in a town uh, such as Dallas in that we have so many other activities and competition that takes place. Uh, Dallas uh, and Fort Worth being so close together, uh, it was a natural move to include Fort Worth uh, as a hometown of our franchise. Uh, coupled with this, Fort Worth has a tremendous facility to play. Uh, we feel that uh, although the attendance this past year of our games played in Fort Worth were not anything to uh, brag about, it was enough indication that if uh, this became a Texas franchise, a, a franchise that was hometown to Fort Worth, that uh, our attendance would justify this move. Fort Worth is delighted that the Dallas Chaparrales have changed their name to the Texas Chaparrales, designating a metropolitan or regional uh, activity in the basketball field. With the cooperative efforts of the Chamber of Commerce of Dallas the, and Fort Worth, City Council of Dallas and Fort Worth, the Mayor of Dallas and Fort Worth, and the development of the regional airport, I think that this is a great step for the future development of bringing the metropolitan area together, and I know that basketball will be supported along with other major sports. Seventeen-year-old Roy Neal Ferguson graduated from Justin F. Kimball High School just two days ago. But already his destiny is determined by what he did the last two years. Under the tutelage of math teacher Mrs. Fred Elder, Roy chalked up an impressive, almost genius-like performance in original computer and higher math projects. He talked about his education. I kind of enjoy learning new things. I'm one of those people who likes uh, achievement and advancement, I guess. For the most part, I think other students my age, to some extent, are misunderstood. I think many of them are miscategorized. I think some of them are definitely uh, lost, as some people say. But I think that uh, they need a little understanding and help, because I know some of my friends I would class as confused. And what they need is just good counseling, because uh, anybody can change, and I think everybody is capable of changing. Though popular at school, Roy loves his family and home. We were there when he came home from high school for the last time. He proudly showed to Brother Jeff and parents the NASA Space Award and other honors recently won. The list is impressive and long. The Panasonic Award, the International Science Fair, 
the local science fairs. Some call Roy brilliant, and he may well be, but we found him average when it comes to the things most teens like. His room is full of posters. He likes records. His personal computer project that took months left him time to think about the future and his generation. He spoke about the Vietnam War, but expressed a different opinion than some his age. I don't believe I'd go into the Army. I would probably join the Peace Corps, more likely. Or if I uh, were drafted, possibly on the basis of a conscientious dissenter, I would uh, go into another uh, area rather than combat. I don't particularly approve of the present war. I think my uh, ideas of what should be done are a little different from the average young person because I feel that we should go in and get it over with and not while our time away. Roy would like to attend SMU, but is open to the idea of a scholarship to any school recognized for courses in computer sciences. He will spend his summer, beginning Monday, working in SMU's computer department. Roy says math is his weak subject. His real love is history and the social sciences. No matter what Roy ends up doing, he will undoubtedly provide the kind of leadership this nation desperately needs. Well, my hope for my generation is that in the end, the majority will rule as far as I feel like the majority is the group who should decide uh, how our society goes. However, I hope that our so-called majority doesn't turn radical because at this time, while I disagree with many things in the present society, I don't think it's as bad as many people say. some 12 feet, which will permit increasing the conservation pool of the reservoir. We had uh, Reverend Boudreaux, who was to make us uh, or lead us in prayer. The wreath has been placed by five young people to symbolize the unique oneness of all the peoples of the world. This is a living tribute to a vibrant young man who inspired dedication toward a better world in the minds and hearts of young people of all nations. It is a time when all of us might well pause for a moment to remember and rededicate ourselves to a better understanding of our fellow men. At this The, the project entitled uh, Guaranteed Student Performance in Education and Training is an effort on the part of the Dallas Independent School District to bring into the educational enterprise in Dallas the expertise of business and industry to assist us in accelerating the learning of students who have been deficient in their learning in, in high school. Now you say deficient in learning. 
At the meeting today, there were mentioned 950 of these students. How are these students picked? Well, what, what makes them uh, eligible for such a program? Well, the planners of the project have attempted to identify the students in five high schools, five of our high schools, who uh, are most deficient in reading and in mathematics skills. They have used the Iowa test of educational development and the grades which these students made last fall in English and mathematics as indicators of their achievements. 